Okay, so I just read on a scoop website that Mr. Anderson got fired from TNA for failing drug test. Hmm. I, re I remember that somewhere in the, in the WWE. And him failing drug tests was, was the same reason why he didn't become Vince, Vince McMahon's son and get a huge push. I mean, I didn't even know TNA even drug tested. I thought they let them let people go in, you know, regardless. But yeah, you know, and it's rumored that he was going to go to the WWE. But I don't think that they're going to let Mr. Kennedy or Anderson, however you call him now, go back due to the fact that he failed drug tests and other reasons as well. Plus, he's dangerous in the ring. Although Randy Orton isn't there anymore to give a reason not to want him back, um, I don't think they'd hire him back anyways. Because Randy Orton was complaining about how Mr. Anderson was stiff in the ring and hurt his arm. And because of Randy Orton, Mr. Kennedy, or Anderson, got released from the WWE. He won in TNA, became world champion. Then they dropped the ball on him. And Mr. Anderson always, Mr. Anderson always complained about how it was Triple H holding him back. If you watch some of his promos in TNA back in the day when he was feuding with Jeff Hardy. But um, as far as Mr. Anderson goes, um, I guess it's just the way I see it. I guess it shows how big of an idiot he was. He wasn't getting anywhere in TNA anyways. He would have became world champion in the WWE, but that didn't happen either. But all I'm saying is, he screwed up on his own time. That's all I gotta say about that. And don't listen to the rumors of him going to the, to the WWE because it man, it's probably not even true. Rumors, you know, I don't think they want him back. That's my personal opinion. That's all I want to say. Have a nice day and bye.